Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because this is my setup video for my little reading room, bookshelves, etc. As you can see behind me, they're already set up, so I did a time lapse of setting up these bookshelves plus the rest of the room, and there's also a little bonus footage of me taking down my bookshelves from my old apartment. So I didn't really have much of a plan when I started filming these clips. I figured I would just kind of throw something together once I had all of them. The idea came to me that I would do an entire time lapse of me taking down my bookshelves and then setting them back up while giving you a voiceover story of the entire move process. I personally really enjoy time-lapse videos, so I hope this is something that you get some satisfaction out of. This was really fun to put together, and I'm actually really happy with kind of how it's turning out. So without further ado, I'm going to switch it over to the time-lapse video. Okay, so I think it's best to start the timeline that Friday I filmed the empty apartment tour. That morning, I started packing up all of my books in our spare room. I'm glad that I had the wherewithal to even set up a camera while I was doing this since I was so out of it from packing the last two days. I took that whole day off, which was so helpful in getting things done. I was supposed to work from home that day, but I knew I would be distracted both with working and with packing, so I decided to just use some vacation time. Let me tell you, I don't think I have ever been this stressed about a move. Grant was so positive the whole time, and I was just in permanent all-hands-on-deck mode. So I'm glad he was there. He also took over when I started to lose steam. He actually did go into work that day, so I really did my best to get as much packed as I could. I don't know how he summoned enough energy to take over when he got home, but he's the reason I didn't 100% lose my cool, so I'm incredibly thankful for that. We had movers coming at 9 a.m. on Saturday, so I felt like we needed to get as much packed as possible. Another stressor for me was the fact that we ran out of boxes, which I guess is all well and good. I originally told them when I got the quote that we had 25 boxes and we most definitely did not end up having that. I think it was closer to 30. But we got as much done as we could and passed out around midnight. The next day I took the dogs to a local doggy daycare place. I actually still need to put in a review for them because they went above and beyond and I'm so thrilled about it. They don't really have kennels but it's just a house with a bunch of furniture that the dogs get to hang out on. Bailey and Boba hadn't been there before, and typically you need to do a trial day with almost any doggy daycare place. They don't normally do trial days on the weekends, but they made an exception for us because I was in a pinch. It would have been fine if I couldn't have found a place, but it just made the day so much easier. If you're in the Nashville area, definitely check them out. They're called Diggity Dogs. Love them. I'll definitely be back. But yeah, the movers got to the apartment while I was dropping the dogs off, so when I got back, they were there. I am so glad I hired them, even though they ended up being more expensive than anticipated. It was still 100% worth the cost. Grant and I could have never moved on our own, and we weren't about to ask all of our friends last minute like that, plus Rona, so I think we made the right decision. To be honest, I kind of felt helpless while they were carrying our stuff out and in because I didn't have anything to do. Grant was kind of directing them, and they asked me questions every once in a while, but I basically stood back, sipped my coffee, and waited. It was super surreal because I am typically in the thick of it, carrying stuff in and out, but oh gosh, <laughs> I am lucky we could hire them. I was exhausted at this point from all the packing. The whole Saturday morning was kind of spitting rain, and as soon as the movers finished and got in their truck, it started pouring. Grant and I laughed a lot about that because the last time we moved, it started pouring as we were moving into our old place, so we just dodged a bullet with this one. I swear it was like a minute after they got in their truck, no joke. Suffice it to say, we were just incredibly lucky during this whole thing. We ended up with a great place, I had vacation time to take, we were able to hire movers, and we missed the worst part of the rain. So I chose Monday and ended up having four days in a row to work on the move. It's been like three weeks since the actual move and we're pretty settled except for art on the walls. I unpacked the bedroom and the kitchen first, always my priorities when we move. It just makes life a lot easier. I've moved so many times in my life, and if I could give any advice, it would be to unpack your bedroom and kitchen first. It took a while for me to get around to setting up my little reading room. I had originally planned to use some bookshelves I already had, but we ended up needing those in other rooms, so I bought myself some pretty new bookshelves. They're not the best quality shelves in the world, just some cheap ones from Target. I also got another curtain of twinkle lights because I'm extra and I love having the fairy lights everywhere. I cannot wait to get the art hung up in this room. That's going to have to wait for my mom to come over because she's so good at hanging art, to the point where whenever I move, she makes me wait to hang the art. 
I also think I'd like to make some watercolor paintings for in here since it is kind of my art studio. Okay, so I wanted to add one final clip to this video, or at least to my little setup. I added a few things to my shelf. This isn't the final way that it's going to be, but right now I'm happy with where it is. I attempted to make a little rainbow with my books and then set up series together. And then each little pocket here has a theme. Most of my journals are on this side. And then I have my art, watercolor books, sketchbooks, and the majority of my plants. And then here in that bottom corner is some yoga books and my Japanese textbooks from college. I have some more yoga books. My writing books. And my books about Buddhism. And then I have this fun little set. That plant is not real. And then moving over to my window. I don't think I'm gonna keep those curtains. I think I'm gonna change them out. They also need to be a little bit farther out so that they're not hitting those blinds. And then I don't think that I'm going to be keeping the plant there. It just keeps getting in the way of the blinds. And then my reading corner, I have a sleeve there from Happy Go Lovely Sleeves that I am obsessed with. Sorry, I haven't done a review yet. I'm going to, I promise. And then, yes, I still have a bag of junk down there that I need to put away. That actually was all in that little drawer right there. And then finally, my art desk. I'm pretty happy with how I have this set up. I've got that little heater there in the corner that I use in the mornings because it's pretty cold here. And then I have my beautiful fairy lights. So there you have it, a fun little video of me taking down my bookshelves and then setting them back up and kind of the story of our move. Like I said in the voiceover, I'm still waiting for my mom to come over so we can hang some art. I'm not really sure when that's going to be just because of coronavirus and Grant and I are getting ready to head out of town. So it'll probably be another month or two when I finally have this entirely set up. Once that happens, I will definitely be putting together an entire room tour. If this is something that you like and you want to see more of in the future, please let me know in the comments. And as always, please like, subscribe, and click that little bell so that you can get notifications when I post new videos. As always, thanks for stopping by and keep reading!